Welcome to how to live a better life as you get older. It's essential to embrace this new chapter with zest and purpose. So how can we ensure that our golden years are truly golden? Here's six tips. Number one, take care of your health. Your health is really important. You know what they say, if we don't have your health, you don't have anything. You need to keep zest and vitality in your life. Just enjoy some regular exercise, you know, whether you walk, swim, or whether you jog, which I don't jog because of my knee, but I do enjoy walking. But just do something. Do some jumping jacks if you can, or even stretches are good. One of the things I love to do is dance. In fact, when I was younger, like in my high school and college days, I used to get as many as many times that I could go dancing as possible. And it's so good for you. In fact, think of some people that you know, even celebrities or people that are still dancing into their 60s, 70s, and 80s. It's the best exercise. Number two, not only must you take care of your health, you must take care of your mind. You know what they say, a mind is a terrible thing to waste. So if you don't have something that you can do to help your mind absorb things that are benefit for you, that's going to be an issue as you get older. And I know, and I know you know that we don't want to have any problems with our minds. It's sad to hear sometimes about stories of people who cannot function because their mind is not really working. So keep learning, maybe read, pick up a new hobby, um, maybe even a musical instrument. When I was younger, I used to play the violin. In fact, I need to see about picking up maybe something like that again, or even a piano. But Sudoku or Sudoku is also good too for your mind, or even just do a crossword puzzle. Anything that can keep your mind going and keep your brain cells churning. Number three, be around people that you love. This is a third way how you can let your golden years really be golden. Cherish the moments that you have with your friends and family and take time out of whatever schedule that you have and meet up with someone. You know, you can't be so busy where you can't enjoy or savor your day-to-day -day moments because if you don't savor them, that's going to lead to regret later on and you don't want that. Number four, volunteer, give back to your community. You know, there's so many people that need your help and assistance. You could go read at the library. You could maybe go to the prison and uh, visit the inmates. You could also go to a, a nursing home. You know, you could um, be there for people that, you know, you're not there yet. So it, was, it might be nice for you to be able to go and just give some sort of solace to those who are there and just make a positive impact in the life of others. And you know, they say the more that you give of yourself, the more you actually receive it back as well. Number five, how about traveling? <laughs> I love to travel. My husband and I joined a, a travel club not too long ago and it's been wonderful. We were able to go on a cruise for my 70th birthday and Getting different experiences like that, whether it's on a cruise or whether it's just visiting another country or even another state or just going, like I said earlier, to visit your family and just create memories together. Leave a legacy of experiences. You know, it's not, you know, that we're going to live and have all these breaths, but what do we do with our breaths that is important? What do we really enjoy and what do we savor? So if you haven't done any traveling, put travel on your list. Number six, prioritize self-care or time for yourself. You can't burn out. You can't do all this other stuff for other people and run and run around and go here and go there and not really sit down for a minute, take some, some deep breaths and get your care taken care of. You know, I don't know if you like to relax or garden or read a book or sing a song. Sing a song. Sing a song. Okay, this is one of my favorite things to do. I know I said maybe a cup of tea, but I can't just have a cup of tea because I'm addicted to tea. I have to have a whole slew. Mmm. Mmm, with the little honey and lemon. Ooh, yes. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, let me get another sip. Mmm, mmm, mmm. 
Okay, well, if tea's not your thing, maybe get some hot chocolate or a cup of coffee. Get something and just sit back and relax and think about how blessed you are to be living at your age. Because I know I sure feel blessed. And I, I'm thanking the Lord every day. I'm praising him. I'm singing his praises that he has allowed me to grace this earth for the amount of time that I have. <laughs> Lastly, just remember that your golden years are an opportunity for you to live it up, spice it up. Whatever you didn't get a chance to do when you were younger, now's the time to do it right now. You know your life is marking off time every day. It's going click, 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 click. And don't let those click, 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 clicks keep going by and you don't find something to enjoy. Don't let these years slip you by. Embrace them with passion and purpose and fulfillment. And remember that today is the best day of the rest of your life. And neither none of us know how much time we have. So we have to take advantage of every second and every moment, every minute of every day. These latter years can truly be your best. So take advantage of every opportunity to live your best life. Thanks for watching my video. If you found these tips helpful, please share. And it's always a pleasure to come and talk to you for a little while. Remember, I'm the bit, I'm the boomer motivator. And keep shining. Don't let anyone dull your shine. See you next week.